Good day ladies and gentlemen, now Code speaking. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to go about in identifying imbalance and fair value gap, also known as FVG, within the market. I'll be also doing a top-down analysis on how to implement them in trading. I'll be also giving away um, this free this free PDF guideline called the tips and rules on how to make use of imbalance and FVG. So immediately when this video reaches 50 likes, the link to the, to the PDF will be uploaded in the description below. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let us commence with the video. Imbalance and FVG are basically the same concept. The only difference between the two is that FVG is a gap within the market and imbalance is the zone is the zone or space between three candlesticks okay whereby when the market receives too many of one kind of orders for instance when there are too many buy orders the market will form a bullish imbalance uh, for instance here this bullish candlestick here so a bullish uh, imbalance and when there are too many sales or sell orders the market will form a bearish imbalance for instance here this candlestick here okay and when this is formed we say that price is inefficient for instance uh when this let me just do this For, for instance, at this area here, we can say that price is inefficient because there were too many sell orders, hence why this bullish imbalance here was formed. Okay. So, whenever this happens within the markets, we know that price has to come back and fill the imbalance or FVG so that price becomes efficient. So let me just pre price. And as you can see there, price went back to fill the imbalance at this area here. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, how do you go? Uh, how do you in identify FVG? Starting with, I'm only starting with it because uh that is the most uncomplicated one to identify so yeah on us100 here okay feg short for fair value gap is when there is a gap within the market and when this happens and when this happens we know that price has to come back down or up to fill in the gap so that price becomes efficient it's as simple as that so as you can see here there was this gap here so there was this gap within the markets here and price came back to fill the fair fpg there so when you pre-price again there was another gap that was formed there you go so here also price was inefficient so we know that price has to come back up to fill in the fpg okay so moving on to imbalance uh, Okay, so let's just start here. And this area here. So moving on to imbalance. Imbalance is the zone or space between three candlesticks. For instance, uh, here we have this candlestick here and we have this candlestick here
so this zone here is going to be our imbalance okay so when marking up this make sure that you you mark up from the wicks and not uh, maybe the outside I'll just show an example right now so marking up imbalance you use the space in between the candlesticks for instance you're going to use this wick here and this wick just above this candlestick here and we know that here we have imbalance that price has to come back up to fill so um, when you mark up some mistakes people do is that they mark up imbalance like this here this here is not imbalance this here is not imbalance imbalance would be this here in between these candlesticks here that there would be in balance okay okay so now let's pre price and see if this imbalance was filled okay price push to the downside first then push to the upside to fill our imbalance here As you can see there okay as you can see also here immediately when uh, the imbalance was filled price pushed to the downside again causing another price inefficiency whereby we have this candlesticks this candlestick here and this one here just do this this candlestick here and this one and marking up marking up the imbalance would be like this here okay so now let's see if price price eventually goes to the upside and fills the imbalance okay let's just pre price and see if we are not going to get another example okay here's another example here whereby we can see that um there was this candlestick here and price pushed to the downside with an impulsive candlestick so we can see here we have this imbalance here that needs to be filled before price pushes to the downside okay so let's play price so price eventually fills the imbalance okay so now moving on to the top down analysis let's just use usd chf here okay Okay, so here we have USD CHF on the uh, 8 hour time frame whereby we can see that here we have a lot of price inefficiencies also known as imbalance that price has to come back and fill. So we have one here we also have another one here we also have another one here and uh yeah Okay, I think those are the two that matters. Okay, so on USD, on USD CHF here, we can see that um, it has been forming a series of 
uh, it, it's had, it has been on a bullish trend here whereby it's forming uh, higher highs and respecting higher lows and now here it was at its highest and this here would be our low okay okay so now going about to like um, implementing imbalance here we know that price left this imbalance here and it has to push to the downside and also we can see that here we have a break out of structure a break of structure and a change of character here and we can say here we have an unmitigated uh, supply area that has that price has to tap in before that high that price has to tap in and here the imbalances that show confirmation that price has to push to the upside and push the, to the downside again and also we have another imbalance here that shows another confirmation that uh, price has to push to the down to the upside and fill in the imbalance okay okay so we'll we would be expecting something like this here price price filling up the imbalances while pushing to the upside price tapping into to our supply area and pushing to the downside okay so let me just play price and see what happens okay price pushes to the upside filling in the imbalances here and also filling in this imbalance here and price eventually taps into our supply area here and now we would be looking for selling opportunities okay so there you go price pushes to the downside and when price pushes to the downside it creates imbalance whereby we know that uh price will eventually fill in the imbalance here so and on this trade here if you took yourselves here your take profit would be at this low here this here would be your take profit okay so price eventually hits our take profit okay and now we are left with this imbalance here that price has to fill okay let me just delete these here okay let's just see if price pushes to the upside to fill the imbalance as you can see the price eventually goes to the upside and fills in the imbalance okay so another way on implementing uh imbalance and fvg is that you can uh, manage your risk using them okay so for instance here we have this supply area here uh on this supply area you would be risking uh let's just let's just cut the markets here so on this supply area here you would be risking around about uh 40 pips but then okay on for with imbalance you can refine your uh what you call supply area okay let's move to the lower time frames and see the two hour time frame and then let's cut price here so so on the two hour time frame you can see here we have this break of structure and this change of character here and then with the refined order supply area here we can see that we have this beautiful supply area here that you can possibly take your sales at 
so let's just do this and let's just move back to the eight hour chart so i just want you guys to see the difference between the refined using using uh imbalance to refine this uh define your supply area so wait so how did i go about uh, finding this supply area so on the two hour chart we can see that here we had this little of price inefficiency here this little imbalance here that had to be filled before price pushes to the downside okay so uh so price price left us with this imbalance here and this can this beautiful candlestick whereby let me just show you here okay so between these three candlesticks price left us with this inefficiency here and the imbalance here and it shows us that uh, there were banks that are involved okay so now that's how i found this supply area okay let's move to the eight hour chart again and see if price taps into our supply area So we would be taking ourselves from this supply area, not this one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's play price. As you can see, price taps into our supply area there, and our risks, our risk now has been refined to. Let's just see. To 20 pips so that's half you are risking before that's half you are risking and this is a simple uh, let's just play price and see and this here would be a 22 R yeah this here would be simply risking you'd be risking 20 pips for For 500 pips so that's how you go about in refining your um, supply areas or demand areas using imbalance okay uh, okay then that's it for the video please make sure that you get this video to 50 likes for the free guideline PDF for this free guideline pdf link will be down in the description once it hits that target do also follow me on instagram for free smart money educational content okay let it just load for a second okay so do follow me on instagram for free smart money uh, educational concept i mean educational content so this is the content i post on instagram and do check out our our free telegram channel we share daily uh, analysis and signals just tap here just click on this link here on my on my instagram bio and click on join channel and you'll be redirected to the telegram channel okay so if you have reached this far Please let me know how was the video and what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel down in the comment sections and please like share subscribe and click on the bell notification button so you that you get get notified every time I drop a video see you guys in the next video peace